So like tomorrow I'm going to a wedding uh, and I figured, oh, I better come up with some kind of wedding present because the wedding's like tomorrow. So I got a piece of sheet metal off the ground outside because I think this person wants a piece of sheet metal. Anyway, it's not going to be in that form when I'm finished with it, but uh, I, I don't usually buy people presents because then some person in China made it. I, I think, you know, if I'm going to give someone a personal present, I should be the one to make it, because then it means a lot more. You know, all feelings and mushy stuff, blah, blah, blah. I'm not exactly sure what I'm doing with this yet, but I got snippers, and I got pliers, and I also have a piece of wire. Oh, this is starting to sound like a MacGyver video. Hmm. I'm sitting here thinking about what I want to make. I think I want to make a box, but not like just like a normal box. So I asked Shana, she said a cylinder. I, I don't know if I want to make curves, but I think like an octagon or a hexagon shaped box, or maybe a, a seven sided septagonon, whatever it's called. Yeah, maybe, maybe some weird shape like that. I think I'm getting an idea. I'm thinking like a seven sides around the outside and then the bottom pieces will like fold in and kind of overlap over under and over each other so it all fits together and the top will like fold over so it like holds it all together and it'll all be one piece that like holds itself together and then I'll have to make a lid but I'll worry about the lid in a minute. Wait I know how to make the lid too. Ooh, seven sides is tricky for that. Well uh, no, I can. I got it. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. I'm gonna start making. <laughs> There's bird poop on here. Uh, don't worry. I won't use that part. I'm going over here. All right. I'm starting with a rectangle that's 14 inches by 8 inches. Don't ask me how I decided that. That's just what I'm doing. I'm gonna cut it out now. Okay, part way down this line, I decided I needed an extra half an inch. So make it 14 and a half inches by 8 inches. Bliggity blam! So I'm going with a hexagon. And to figure out something, uh, I'll tell you in a minute. I need to draw a hexagon. So first I drew a 2 inch bottom part. Now I happen to know that when this goes up 60 degrees, like 60 degrees. Oh my god, I've got black hands disease. Anyway, it's spray foam. When this goes up 60 degrees, this it'll end up half as far out as the length of it. So I drew this line over here an inch further because this is two inches and half of that is one inch. So now when I draw a line up here, two inches, if I line my ruler up in the right spot with that at the corner and that at the line, then that should be the right angle. That was a bit of geometry for you. <laughs> then draw a couple lines up here. So basically you've got one inch, then two inches, then one inch. And then use your ruler and draw the two inches here, the two inches there, and then, you know, just connect them at the end. And that line should be parallel to that line if you did everything right. All right, here's my hexagon. I've got lines to the middle. Now, what I think I want to do is have each bottom part it'll like the wall will go down and then the f the bottom part will fold in and I think I want to cut it like this so that the piece that comes off this wall will be shaped like like this kind of like that so that way if I do all of them like that they should all like interweave through each other yeah so I'm just gonna draw this on the metal a bunch of times and then cut it out. Okay, I drew one on there every two inches. Now I just need to cut out these these chunks. You know what I just realized? Instead of cutting these sections out, I should just cut this line here because when it folds up, this line here will be the one that the next wall comes into. But I have to cut a little chunk out here so it doesn't interrupt the 
next wall over. It's a good thing I had an extra inch over here, so I'll just make one here and cut this one off. So yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six. Now, two inches down this line, I have to cut over, and luckily, those pieces I cut off over there have the right angle, so I can just measure down two inches, put this here, and cut along that line. Like so. And then draw a line going down every two inches to match up with the bottoms there. Then go inside and turn on the lights because it's getting too dark out there. Okay, after that, draw a line about 5 eighths of an inch down from the top and then make a little cut every 2 inches along that 2 inch line. Down, down to your 5 eighths line. Now I'm at a bit of a funny spot because I know this thing I made makes something because my brain tells me uh, I'm not exactly sure which order I should do the next parts in. So I have to fold it a bunch of times and get it to fit together right. All right, give me a second to think. Okay, I know I can fold these down without making any decisions about the top. So these have to be folded down to 90 degrees. With any luck, I can do that by hand. Yeah, just like that. Or, I mean like that, you know, in the light. Okay, fold them all like that. Ooh, you know, we've got that, and we've got that. Okay, next is fold over this extra half inch that I left at the end. Just fold it down right flat against the thing. It's just to give it a non-sharp edge. Hmm. Uh, I guess just take some pliers and bend it over. And then clamp it shut. Just like that. Like so. Now I've got everything ready for the uh, big important part where it, you know, bends around like that. I'm gonna have to, where do I start? Okay, I'll start over here. Bend this one to its roughly 60 degrees from where it was. And now, bend the next one, and this either has to go over the next one or under it. Uh, yeah, under it. So, like that. Yeah, that's what I'm going for. And then this one folds under the next one, and then you'll get this, like, you know, nice pattern on the bottom. You might have to wrestle with it for a bit. Anyway, see as you can see they start, you know, underlapping each other kind of. Then you end up with this nice hexagon shaped, almost cylinder but hexagon thingy. And if it's too tight in here, just shave off a bit from the ends, you know, use your snippers and cut off a little. I had to cut off like a millimeter off a couple of them to get it to fit real snug. And now the top, remember there's those cuts in there. Um, the part where it comes together, the seam, fold this one over first because that'll hold it together. Uh, let's see if I can do that now. Yeah, fold that one over and you might have to whack it. Give me a sec. 